Hello, 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 and welcome to the four steps to breaking into product management with myself, Andy AM. Thanks for being here. So throughout my journey, there's there's two things that have really stood out. One is that I've really excelled at being a business builder, and I'll explain that throughout my journey. And the other is that I've been really good at forming winning relationships and bringing people together. And one of the reasons I'm well positioned to kind of speak about breaking into product management is because I've actually transitioned careers around about four times in the last decade, as you can see here. So I started off in 2010 as the co-founder of a music discovery and distribution platform called Mixtape Madness. Remember, that was in the music industry. I then transitioned into management consulting, which I was actually doing in parallel at that time. All right. Nothing to do with music, completely different industry, completely different role from a founder to a management consultant. OK, I did that for a few years, which saw me traveling to, to, to South Africa, to Uganda, to Botswana, to Tanzania, and then eventually to Silicon Valley and San Francisco for work with Elixir in 2004-15. I then left Elixir and went to World First and became a, a business analyst initially, actually. Um, and I joined with the one condition that I wanted to hire in my boss, who I wanted to be an experienced product manager so I could transition into product management. So that at World First was my transition period to go into product management. So by 2015, I'd been a co-founder, I'd been a management consultant, I'd been a business analyst, and now I was going in to become a product manager. Okay, And it was all really around the way that I knew how to sell my story in each of those opportunities. I could always sell my transferable skill set from whatever experience I had before. And that was just a knack that I picked up along the way, uh, which I'll touch on and teach a little bit on in this course. Okay. I then stayed as a product manager and continued to become more senior. And I started consulting and freelancing as a PM at places such as Investec Bank, as you can see in 2018. And more recently, I transitioned again from being a product manager into a business builder when I joined Backstage Capital as the managing director, because I essentially joined joined them in uh, the challenge they had, which was to build an accelerator from scratch and accelerate a business. The business where for three months you incubate a startup or a number of startups and you help them grow and accelerate their growth whilst you invest money into them. So I helped build that program for them globally in Detroit, Philadelphia, LA and here in London. Um, but again, that's another transition into a new role. I had to package up my experience and my story to get into that. And actually, it was about leveraging the relationships that I built with the founder that really got me into that role. Um, and then more recently, I'm doing a foray of things alongside investing, such as teaching first time founders product management and, of course, hosting free classes like this to help people break into product management. And just for context, the reason that I'm doing this class is because I had so many people reach out to me, ask asking me how do you break into product management how can I transition into my first role as a product manager and rather than taking 20 half an hour meetings I'd rather do this course in a more scalable way and to share it with anyone else that continues to ask this question so what is the typical background for a product manager um you may be thinking So sadly, like if you ask someone like, what is a doctor? Or what does an accountant do? Or what does a lawyer do? I'm pretty confident that you'll get a similar answer from people. It's really well understood. It's really well defined. Whereas product management, you get such a foray of answers from project management to someone that looks after the backlog to someone that is a mini CEO. And there's all of these different variable examples that people give and is one of the most misunderstood roles not only actually in startups but also in scale-ups and in corporates right and i've done hundreds of interviews of people that want to get into product management and there's so many different roles that they come from to to arrive at product management and and actually that's okay because as you can see here six percent of product managers were business analysts or software engineers before okay and those two roles in particular, if you think about it, within a company, it's easier to transition from into becoming a product manager along with the likes of UX design or user research because these are people that actually work closely with product managers. So they understand the role from actually working with other people that have been in the role. So it kind of makes sense that that's where it's come from, right? And historically, actually, in software companies, 
when people started doing product management, a lot of the times it was engineers that were double hatting as a product manager, similar to what we see today in agile organizations where a lot of software engineers may double hat as a scrum master. Okay. But what's really interesting here is that outside of that 60%, look at all of the other variations of different routes into product management. There's people that have been account managers or in sales or in marketing or in operations, like financial analysts, okay? And what's even more telling is that, like there's not really any degrees at university for product management. So as we can see here, only 8% of people actually start off as product managers, which is really telling, okay? This is a career that's been only around for the last, or popularized, I guess, in the last 20 odd years. But in the UK, only really popularized, to be honest, in the last 10 years. So it's no surprise that there's this variation across the scale. And at the end, don't worry, I'm going to share links to all of these reports and to all of these sources. So you can go and do your own research and learn about this stuff from the root cause or root source. So who is this course really for? Like, could this be for you? And there's kind of like three types of people. I think there's people that just know they want to be product managers. They've been exposed to the role of they've done a little bit of homework. There's other people that just want to understand a little bit more about what a product manager is and, and actually what do they do in their day to day. Well, finally, there's people that may have been a founder and maybe things didn't work out. You know, I was a co-founder, like I said, in 2010 um, and I transitioned out of, uh, of running my company. Um, and maybe you want to transition into product management. And the great news is all of you can. Like, sadly, what this isn't is fundamental training on the fundamentals of product management or teaching you actually the, the core skill set of product management that's going to be in one more standard course where i literally walk through actually product management for first-time founders which will be equally applicable for new pms and i think you'll get a lot of value out of it so great news is we're going to go on this epic journey together today and i'm going to really walk through tactics and things that you can action on and actually do so get your notepads ready and get excited because it's gonna be an epic journey. The agenda for today is that we're first gonna go through understanding what product management is and a little bit of the history behind where product management has kind of come from. I'm gonna share a lot of the communities to join and some of the communities that I've actually been a part of and benefited from. Um, I'm gonna share some things that you need to know before you start actually job hunting. And, and I'm gonna share some places where you can find your next role from job boards to recruiters. And if you stay to the end um, of this course, you'll see there's a few bonus worksheets and gifts that I give to you um, to support this course. And I'm reachable, like any of you can reach me or email me at hello at andyayim.com. So now you've taken this course, you're part of this community, you can reach out to me and I will try and uh, create some monthly meetups, maybe virtual because a lot of this audience is not just in the UK, even though this is a very UK centric language. Thank you, enjoy this course.